Colt, the part owner of Citizens Magnet Fishing. Uh, he's here today talking about an event that he's got coming up tomorrow. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that event you get coming up tomorrow. So, uh, first, uh, we have fit. We got YouTube live right here. Chris has a video, and I'm gonna have Citizens Magnet Fishing on YouTube right here. My daughter is actually doing the video. Uh, but I just want to say to everybody, there's three cameras on me. I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> but also, um, I just, there's some thank yous and stuff that I want to send out to. First of all, I want to send out to um, Platinum Online Products. Mm -hmm. Products. They are the ones that give me, send me, and sometimes I have to buy them. The t-shirts right here that I have on. If you see that. That's an angry bear. He's mad. Um, then I get the magnet kits from this, this guy. I actually just bought one recently. I'm going to show you guys. This is a beast. You think this is a beast on a t-shirt? You haven't seen nothing yet. Also, um, another one is. Big shout out to Mr. Drew and his animals too. We just did an event on Wednesday. Big turnout. I was so happy to see that. It was amazing. And um, my thing is to me, as a personal friend I had, um, he's still alive. His name is Jacob. I uh, found out recently that he has a rare cancer, guys. And um, if anybody knows, cancer is really bad. It's not just for kids. It's not for adults it's only for older people it's everybody okay um it sucks it really does i just want to wish him the best of luck uh he's going through a lot he's going to be going through chemo and stuff the kid's only 14 years old it's it's really bad guys um everything talk to him shut the door okay so that's my big thank yous definitely to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Citizens Magnet Fishing. I'm at 71 right now. I need some more. I'm not doing it to make money. I'm not doing it to be famous. I'm not doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, for the good stuff. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the event we have coming up. I was actually um, a girl named uh, Ashley. Got a hold of me. She is part of the Lewiston board. We actually just got... I guess they just got a grant for Lewiston to clean up Lewiston. And she called me, uh, got a hold of me, and said, her kids want to go magnet fishing. Awesome. I love that. Little kids want to go magnet fishing? That makes my day ten times better. Um, so she got a hold of me. Then she asked, she was talking about me, and her friend Amy got a hold of me. I'm going to say names, but I'm not going to say last names because that's the that's the. Um, she got a hold of me and said, hey, I got an event coming up on the 24th <coughs> of this month. I really want you guys to come out and uh, help spread the word about Magna Fish, clean up the rivers. So I said, I looked at my calendar. I said, sure, why not? I can come out. That's tomorrow. I am excited. Uh, never happened before. This was really weird. First time. First time. Uh, this Amy asked me, how do we get to basically pay you to come out? First, I was stumped because that was the first time everybody, anybody's asking. Mm -hmm. I do this on my own time, guys. I do this on my free time. Mo most of the group that I have with me does it on free time. Yeah. They do it. I was going to say, you haven't done it in a little while. Yeah. Now, yeah. So, so um, getting back into it again. Been busy with stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, family's fairs, um, being sick for four days. Um, I do have family members in, from Canada that's coming, just came here. Canadian border is not open, guys. I think they said August 2nd. No, either or not, either. Uh, something around there. So, expect more Canadian people, guys. It is. Yep. So, um, but <clears throat> we have family come in. My family came in. And my little nephews, one's eight, one's ten, and the other one is 15 months old. Obviously, he can't go magnet fishing. But um, we'll get him to go magnet fishing later in life. 
But he, um, <laughs> he's a they, yep. they are so excited because their uncle is on YouTube. Um, they want to be on YouTube. So they were happy. I was happy. But the other thing was Amy said, hey, how do I pay you? I said, a donation. Because I do this non-profit. Every money that I get, if I'm selling t-shirts, or I'm doing the raffles for the magnet kits, kits or I am um, doing anything for like that stuff, it goes right back into basically getting more magnet kits, more grappling hooks, and more stuff so we can get it out of the water. So how? So who are the winners of the uh, magnet fishing kits you got oh, from the shoot. Mama's Fair? Um, did they go quick? They did. Uh, one was in um, up by Monmouth area. I know that was one. Um, another young man won it. He actually met me in Topsom. He was happy because he actually works on boats and stuff. So and everything. I don't have to say. Um, and <coughs> another guy. Right down the street from here, he actually won. He actually won the thirteen hundred pounder. I know that. Good. Yep. So, um, and another guy came out. I was wondering how that went. Yep. I didn't. Yep. Another guy actually came to my house and got it. It was amazing. I just told him I didn't feel good. He said, "Sure, I can come out. I know where it is." So it was pretty awesome. So you didn't send it out? No. These guys. Uh, it was just most, much money. Yeah. It would have been more money to Man. send them out in the mail because they're heavy. Then it costs a lot. Cost, yeah, it costs, yeah. Okay. So you got one of your uh, magnet fishing kits here. We see on the uh, yeah the bottom here. Now, so if you guys are interested in magnet kits, definitely look at this. Go to this website. It's amazing. Okay. Now, do you want to open it up and show us what's inside? So oh we'll yeah, so I do. Here. Oh yeah. Show us okay, first of all, this is the beast. This is the biggest magnet I've ever had. This is probably the heaviest magnet I've ever had. <coughs> My last magnet I've had was a 12, no, 2600 pound magnet. Okay. That thing was about probably, I would say, eight pounds. Wow. And you got to think about this. Eight wow. pounds, you keep on throwing, it's going to hurt your shoulder. Yeah. Especially if you're a young kid. If you're, if you're a 150 pound kid, it's going to hurt your shoulder. If you're old like me and I have shoulder problems and knee problems, it's gonna hurt your shoulders. But this, you can this is amazing. Your shoulder yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can mess a rotator cuff. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. So, I feel like every time I get these boxes, okay, here's the box, guys. I'm gonna put it right there. Here we go. See that? I feel like the bad guy. And I picked it boots. up myself and it was pretty heavy. I'm gonna zoom in on the case here. Now, you can get your products at that website there, Platinum Online Products. It's on Amazon. Uh, oh, yeah. On Amazon store. You can get all kinds of cool stuff. He made a cool video, too. I checked out that video. It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. He, um, he also has a Facebook group. So, if you do see Pops Magnets Facebook group, it is yeah, legit. Sure. It's yeah. good. He's it's not trying a scam to get or anything. It's not a scam. Um, because my oldest, my oldest daughter... If you guys, uh, she got hacked on Facebook. And your wife did too, didn't she? No, my wife did not get hacked. Oh, oh, she got, um, she couldn't get in on Facebook. Uh, so my my daughter got, my hacked. Daughter got yeah, hacked. My daughter got hacked. I was going to say, so. she messaged me and I got to message finally. Yeah. I don't check on much. So, here we go. As you, like I said, I feel like the bad guy in the movies. Okay. With all that money. Okay. So, the cool thing about it is, we get a giant grappling hook. Look at that thing. And the cool thing about these grappling hooks is they have those teeth too. But you turn it this way, it's like you turn it and stuff. It's pretty cool. And it takes a while. Ah. But when you do it, it's good. But then the teeth, look at that. The teeth stay still. And this, just this grappling hook is heavy. I mean, I imagine... How much hip power would you say it is? I would say probably close to... Probably between 5 to 8 pounds. 
Yeah, guys. that's pretty cool. And the cool thing about it is when you, if you get stuck with something, and it closes in, it goes right back in. So that's, that's really cool. So there's that one. I'm gonna put this over here. Yeah, the thing's a big, it's a big thing. It's heavy, heavier than most yep. of the ones he got rid of on at the moment. Yeah, those things are pretty yeah. light. As long as the bull doesn't see me, I am good. It's the red. <laughs> I feel like a, a charge. charge. <laughs> the, I feel like one of those metal doors. Woo, right here. woo, woo. <laughs> Always, it's good to get these because then you can wipe your hands. Or, and um, another thing that's always good, gloves. I saw there was a pink one he was getting rid of. Oh, uh, believe it or not, I'm going to tell you guys this. The pink one looks cool. I do like it. I'll, I'll like even it. use it because yeah, it's pink. Cool but uh, I, I'm going to tell you this, guys. My wife, her name is Jessica. I'm not going to mention her last name. Uh, she actually ordered the pink magnet kit for herself. You can try it. She's gonna go magnet fishing. It is crazy. She should try it. Um. So this is this lock stuff. You guys ever see it? That stuff right there is awesome. So, um, this actually goes in with this. These guys right here for a minute. It's like a glue, and it mm -hmm. makes them stay in. So that, and you get two of them. Feel like I got wedding ring on so. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Wash knuckles. Oh my. They're big. Gosh. Okay. So also you get. So that's the stuff right there. There's the rope, guys. I mean, it's still in the package, so I haven't even used it yet. But they have a good carabiner, so that's a, that's the best part. That strong. Yeah, it's a strong rope. I'm gonna put that right here. Oh goodness gracious! Here we go. This is actually the magnet. So, what I have to do. Not hurt it. Okay. This is a magnet, guys. Look at that. That is the size of my hand. Look at that. And that's the same uh, logo in the back, right? Yeah, it does. The same kind of... Oh, look at that. It's a magnet. <laughs> Maybe I can put my own personal. Citizens Magnet Fishing Yeah, like it is in the background. Look at that. Cool. That is heavy. This is a 12 pound magnet. Okay, guys? Take a 12 pound magnet and dwell it for a long time. It's going to hurt your shoulders, guys. I don't expect a 10 year old boy to go up and take this magnet and Burn dwell it. Okay? It's amazing. So is he going to start doing it? You're not using start doing oh, it? Oh, he does, he does it, but they. um. In Canada. Laws did there. Um, but the thing about it in Canada, what they do is they live by a beach area and they don't live really, they have a lot of water stuff near them. Do they? But uh, the problem is, is that they um, can't really get to so many areas. Yeah, still some lockdown areas. Um, just because of um, COVID. Not COVID, it's just that uh, the bridge where they might be going is a lot of rocks. If you're gonna go, mag yeah. If you're gonna go magnet fishing, guys, forty deep. <laughs> go look around the area. Make sure there's no debris. Make sure there's no rocks. Go when they're about to um, lower the water. If it's or if it's a uh, what's it called? Um, drained or drained or if it's really drained. not drained, but um, what is that called? When it's uh, really dry, like. You've been having no rain for a while. Yeah. Um, that's a, to me, that's the best time because then you can actually see what's down there. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited for this happening tomorrow. I'm excited. So what time is that gonna be tomorrow? 12 to four? 12 to four. We'll be down there probably around 11. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. You're not going. Will you stop? Okay. You're supposed to be a camel woman, not a I camel top. Give that have a little comedy, though. Mm -hmm. The little comedy is me beating my daughter up. I'm just joking, lady. Guys, I do not hit my daughters. Okay. Oh, goodness, it's so heavy just to hold it. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to go put this out here. Again, Colt's going to be down in uh, Lewison. What's the name of the park, too? I keep on 
I know it's where they have the balloon festival every day. Open that up for me. Yeah, let me see. He's gonna show a banner hey, that. Uh, here you go. Do you still have the camel on me tucked down? You're the worst camel woman ever. I always say that. <laughs> but you're I, not. I have the hair on you right now. Look at this. Hey. So, uh, so you can't even, this. Yeah, you can't even put this. You can't even have plastic in this no more. Man can't even let you have plastic. So you have to have paper on it. You gotta pay for uh, bags now. Fun well, they take the plastic now off. Yeah. I think it's the first so thing. You pay for paper bags. Well, okay. So, my wife thing. ordered this, guys. This is for just for my events. But, I just want to show so you. So, do you know what your next event's going to be after this one? I do not know. So, right there. So, this is Magnificent. We are on Facebook and YouTube. And there's the phone number. There's the phone number right there, guys. So, I'm going to have you look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. And that magnet, Chris picked out. That's amazing. I love it. Oh, oh my goodness. It's not a it's real magnet. One. It's a 3D animation. It's the one right? behind me. Guys, I'm sorry on YouTube you can't see it. But uh, it's the same one as the one that's on YouTube behind me. Guys. I had to make it look like it was etched in. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a real magnet, but it, yeah. well, it looks like 3D-ish, it. yeah. But I just want, like I said, I want to say thank you to everybody that watches my videos. Um, I mean, I... I love doing what I love doing. Uh, Magnificent is, well, the one thing I love doing is obviously there's four things. Being a father, I love doing that. It's it's my it's my passion. It's my life. I have a 15 year old daughter and another one that's gonna be 14. So people look at me and they say, Oh my goodness, you have a 15 year old daughter? Yes, I do. Nope, my my poster book. Because of I was very young when I had kids. I'm 38 years old, guys. I'm Still pretty young. Yep. Yeah. So, um, it's that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have kids young, okay? Because I don't want to wait till I'm 30, 40 years old, and I have a hard time catching my kids. <laughs> okay. Uh, sec second thing is, um, being honest with you, it is. Being at Mr. Drew's with the reptiles, it just something about reptiles that I've always been liked about. I love, and I love being around them. And unfortunately, sometimes I like being around animals more than people. And I'm not trying to be the mean. I, I think when COVID hit, it kind of helped me. Yeah, because I was around the animals more than people, and it just it felt good. At least sometimes being around people can be stressful. Sometimes. Yeah, but also I have I have anxiety. Yeah, and I have depression. So. These animals do help me out. And if anybody is out there that, that agrees with me, I would love to hear from you. I love that. Because, you know, you know, on snakes and turtles and reptiles, and now we have people coming in and seeing this kind of stuff. It makes their day better because they're coming out. Uh, the third thing, fishing. I love fishing. I've been about, when I was growing up, I lived by the water. I love it so much. And obviously, the second thing is magnet fishing. Look at that. That's a big old pit logo. I can't believe it. You're home for real, real magnet real, fishing. Real magnet fishing. Ma magnet fishing. Fishing. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. He's gonna start. He's gonna have to start doing real fishing. <laughs> well, I, I do like real fishing. But the thing about it is, you, have a license uh, and do it. you need a license, and the thing about it is I love doing the magnet fishing because, like with fishing, if you're fishing in ponds, you don't know if you're going to get a sunfish, yeah. yellow perch, whatever you're going to get. That's a cool thing. But for me, when I do magnet fishing, I don't know if I'm getting a grocery cart. I'm getting a bike. Uh, I'm getting a gun. You never know, <laughs> guys. But also, I do want to tell you this, okay? For two and a half years, three years, I've been doing magnet fishing. I have had help a lot about with other people because bikes and grocery carts and stuff are very heavy. But if it was with me and somebody else helping me, we always count that as one Yeah. and stuff. I am up to 51 bikes, guys, 
pulling out of the main waters out of two and a half years. Okay, 12 bikes were from Lewiston, or Lewiston area. The rest of them came from Westbrook. Westbrook is so loaded with bikes. It's so crazy, guys. It's, it's stupid that you're gonna steal a bike and just throw it in the water, okay? Um, grocery carts, the crew that I had with us, they have, with me and without me, they have pulled up probably close to 30, 35 grocery carts and stuff. And so you put a lot of bikes on there. Yeah, uh, pulled up a lot of metal. Uh, the whole crew was out there one day. We pulled out a safe. It took us six to seven people to pull out a safe. So do you know, you're going out this Sunday, right? Sunday. Uh, we want to go out this Sunday to Westbrook. Um, I did talk, I did put Rain on the Westbrook. Shine. Rain or shine. Westbrook uh, Community Board, I did talk to them. Um, I put it up there. Uh, I guess a lot of people want to go out and see it. So this is going to be one of your last times in Westbrook this season? Um, maybe. So basically my schedule is, I came and saw you today. Tomorrow is talking about Magnet Fishing. Sunday is going Magnet Fishing. Yep. Yeah. And then Monday, it happens to be Fun Town Splashdown USA with my family. Good. So I'm kind of excited for that. Hmm. Uh, you guys went to Boston last week? Uh, we went to Massachusetts. We went to the mall. Uh, the mall. My wife is a big cheesecake factory. They have, Lover. they have plenty of them down there. They have one at the North Shore Mall. Yeah, it's near Boston. Believe it or not, believe it or not, it's actually only from here. It's about probably two hours. hours. It's almost two hours, guys. Yeah. Like going to it's Bangor. worth it. I like go to Bangor. Yeah. So also, and one of my big things is I love going to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, they have them down there. Uh, them. We will be having ours in Westbrook pretty soon. I cannot wait. I'll probably go to Westbrook two or three times a day, not two or three times a day, so two or three times a week because I love chick fil They have one in Bangor. Yeah, they have one in Bangor. They're really, really popular in Bangor. They do really good in Bangor. Yeah. I'm excited for Prescott that. Prescott has them too. Prescott has them? Yeah. That's cool. I'm hoping that's a good How one. How about the Canadian border, so. Yeah, that's good for them. There's only two in Maine, though. There'll be three. Yeah, yeah, really only they're working on it right now. Hopefully, we'll listen to and we'll get so, be kind. Oh, wow. It says one person's watching it on your thing. So, whoever you are, I do not know you. Thank you very much for watching us. Cool, cool. Um, and Kurt, uh, Mr. Pazalot, Chris, you're the man. I just want to tell you that. Thank you for putting me on YouTube. I really appreciate it. It helps my, with this whole coronavirus, I think it helps me talk to people. Yeah. So, doing, it, uh, yeah. doing it over the internet. Yeah. Uh, Social media blows up for everything. Yeah. So you could say one word and social media blows up. Yeah. Um, and you guys, thank you. For Citizen Magnificent. Thank you for Citizen Magnificent. Uh, this video is going on YouTube pretty soon. So hopefully you like it. Yeah. Did, so did you do the YouTube live or did you do the, just to record it? And then she did it. Okay. Yeah. So. But I just want to say. It'll leave your data up if you yeah. want. Mm -hmm. But thank you. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> so right. you were talking about releasing a turtle. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, no, it was. Oh, you did that early today. No, the thing about it is, I actually want to take this out. Oh, and show. And have you take pictures of? Oh, I see. For for, for Warren. Good. Yeah. yeah. For Warren and.